pretty upset with John Cena right now. And I think a lot of people should be. There's already enough uh, problematic tensions with China trying to move on everybody else's land. Taiwan is absolutely a country. It is an independent country of China. China does not own Taiwan. China does not govern Taiwan. And so this Fast and Furious star, a lot of you remember him from the WWE, John Cena apologizes to the Chinese for calling Taiwan a country in Beijing. U.S. wrestler, superstar, and actor John Cena apologized to Chinese fans on Tuesday after calling Taiwan a country, right? Speaking of Taiwanese television, earlier this month, the 44-year-old said Taiwan should be the first country to see the latest Fast and Furious. So they're going to release the new Fast and Furious movie in Taiwan first. I personally think after his comments where he rebuked what he said, that the movie theaters in Taiwan need to pull Fast and Furious out. They shouldn't sell it there. A lot of this is because those of you that remember, John Cena did an interview a while ago where he was talking about when he went to China, he was absolutely amazed of uh, how many people were there and he thought the WWE could make good money there, right? So this is all money oriented. Unfortunately, John Cena didn't think about the consequences of what he was saying. You don't ever, ever bow to Taiwan. That's one of the reasons why I became a BTS fan, because those of you who remember, I think uh, maybe uh, five, six months ago, BTS said something about the Korean War, and they made comments about uh, the sacrifice U.S. soldiers made along with uh, Korean soldiers for democracy, you know. And it upset a lot of Chinese people. BTS never apologized. And they shouldn't have. I'm sorry, but China was on the wrong side of the war on that. I, I, it's just the way it is. So John Cena is another paid CCP uh, member at this time, unfortunately. So John Cena sold out to China. China regards Taiwan as a providence and asserts its most self-ruled democratic island. Philippines are already starting to feel this providence thing because... China is starting to call the Philippines the Providence. Some of their products that are coming in are stamped, uh, made in, not in the Philippines, but the Providence of the Philippines. And they're already starting to make rules in the West China Sea that's Philippine controlled and what fishermen could do and what they can't do. So China's already starting to make laws, which is something I warned everybody against. China eventually will start making more laws inland in the Philippines and demand the Philippines inherit to those laws. That's what's going to happen. That's what's happening now. So I love and respect the Chinese people, but unfortunately he disrespected Taiwan, which is an independent country. See, he's too busy trying to promote money in China when he should be promoting freedom worldwide. So John Cena not only screwed up, but unfortunately he is now a member of the CCP. And there's nothing, you know... Uh, you can do about it except maybe not watch his movies maybe somebody could talk some sense into him one day you know sit down have a conversation with him explain to him in simplest terms because he is a wrestler he is wwe so you got to use simple words you got to talk really slow and explain to him the consequences of what he's doing john cena long list of international celebrities who have incurred the wrath of increasingly chinese public over the comments of taiwan this is not the first time Hollywood has bowed to China. The new Top Gun movie removed the Taiwanese flag off his jacket. If those of you remember the first Taiwan, I mean the first Top Gun movie, he had the Taiwan uh, flag, uh, you know, sold to his jacket. But they removed it to bow down to China. People got to stop bowing to China. It's got to stop. There's going to be severe consequences for this. It's already happening. So John Cena is another person who just bend over for China. So people in China says, please use Mandarin to say Taiwan is not part of China. Otherwise, we won't accept your apology. I personally don't give a damn if you don't accept my apology, China. I'm not trying to be mean. I've been to China. I know some people over there. I have respect for them individually, but far as a country and the way it's run, it's run like a terrorist organization. That's just the way it is. Neither did the apology go down well with the United States. Can someone please help John Cena locate his spine? Yes, that's what you should do. I'm glad somebody called him out, wrote Matt, manager of the American News. Even former U.S. Secretary of State, Ma Park Pao, chimed in. On your bowing the Chinese Communist Party, I didn't see you, Pum wrote to Twitter. And he is. He's bowing down. 
The WWE, in my opinion, at this point, they should ban John Cena. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is. If you love America and you love freedom, then you support Taiwan. If you love CCP and you love complete control, if you love the things that the CCP does, murder, rape, conquer, uh, beat up the homeless, kill old ladies, evict people, on, on, you know, on whatever you want to call it, then you go with China. So right now, John Cena says, you know what? I love the CCP and what they do. So unfortunately, the only thing that I think that should happen, I think John Cena should be banned from the WWE. And I think while he's overseas, I think his passport should be revoked. I don't think he should be walking back to America. Anyway, this is Joe's Corner. Thanks.